Okay, hello back to another test. I'll be retesting Not32 antivirus today. Uh, the last time I tried it, it uh, didn't fare too well, uh, mostly because uh, Hibs component relies heavily on the real time protection part. Uh, I also talked with Marcos from ASAT about it, and basically he said this isn't exactly uh, the intended uh, way to use. Uh, their product, but uh, I'm doing this anyway, uh, basically out of curiosity, because uh, I'm really interested in uh, heaps and behavior blocker components, how they work, and so far other products uh, did really well, mostly because uh, they have uh, real-time parts uh, entirely separated from the behavior blockers. This isn't the case uh, with Node 32. But uh, it's how it is. Uh, it's not scientific. I'm just doing this uh, uh, to see how uh, different protection modules in antiviruses work. And uh, this very example it just doesn't work too well. Maybe I'll. Uh, it will work better uh, this time around, uh, as I'm going to set it uh, not in automatic mode, but in smart mode. Supposedly, this uh, mode should detect more stuff, but I haven't really tried it yet, so uh, this will be the first test for me too. Um, the rest is disabled, so no real time, no startup scan, no idle scan, just the heaps component. I also, like in the last test, disabled advanced memory scanner because this would trigger signature detections. Which is, in normal conditions, very effective, but uh, in my tests, uh, we don't want that. So it's disabled. Uh, I hope it will do better this time, but uh, don't blame the uh, assets uh, for this because uh, it's not really meant to be used like this. But again, I'm just testing the HIPS component or behavior blocker in antiviruses. So uh, I'll be testing this part only again. Uh, so here it goes. Uh, also, you can see here. Ah, no, don't open that. Uh, as you can see, <laughs> Process Explorer is detected on virus total, but by one antivirus, it's a false positive. So uh, system is cleaned. It's not infected for sure. Anyway, okay, close it. Uh, let's try again. Uh, I hope it's going to be better this time. The last test, so the first sample, already breached the protection of HIPS module. Hope it will do better this time. <laughs> okay. Um, nothing is happening. And yeah, the same thing again. I'm just going to rush through this because I don't think anything actually changed. Okay, now we have something. Well, it's already better than the last time. So I'm gonna deny.
Okay, another one. Just a registry. And he's doing the memory scan thing again, even though everything is disabled. And another pop up. So it's already uh, doing more than the last time. In automatic mode, either it's uh, relying way too much on the real time scanner, or it's simply not uh, getting triggered on the rules uh, used by the HIP system. So. So far, only, only registry access was uh, questionable and uh, delivered to the user via pop up. Okay. Okay, uh, I don't think it's uh, there's any point in continuing because uh, tons of crap was uh, executed and still running. But uh, okay, stop switching. Uh, it is good to know that uh, changing this setting, the filtering mode, uh, does affect uh, protection. Now it is showing some pop-ups. Uh, so that's a start. Uh, I think I'm gonna just uh, stop this video, reboot the machine in the clean state, and maybe try interactive or maybe policy based. Since in policy based, it basically blocks everything that's not allowed automatically. And yeah, I'm gonna try this now and we'll see how that works. Maybe it will block more stuff. And maybe interactive. After that, just out of curiosity, how uh, how noisy it will be, the user, how many questions uh, to ask, uh, to allow or deny the actions. Anyway, I'm gonna stop this video and be back in a second for you. Okay, so I'm back. Uh, had quite some problems uh, with uh, the policy-based mode. Uh, after I switched to this, uh, the virtual machine was uh, unbootable. It was just stuck at black screen with the loading thingy spinning uh, forever, not moving anywhere. Uh, anyway, I got it uh, working again uh, through safe mode and then switching back uh, to smart mode. Uh, policy based mode also blocked. Uh, Virus total check. Uh, if you click here, it would just block uh, the request. Uh, no Internet Explorer or Edge would open. Uh, so that's that. Uh, it's clearly not uh, fine tuned enough, or again, relying too much on the real time uh, part of it. I also noticed uh, another false positive while I was recording the video and from the same 
antivirus was the second one on the process explorer. Fix your nonsense, PK. Anyway, uh, since uh, policy mode uh, doesn't work, at least in my virtual machine for some reason, I'm gonna try interactive mode just for fun to see uh, how noisy it will be. So let's try this. Okay, that was fast. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Let's make a rule so it won't be that noisy later on. I'm gonna start this just for the sake of. Okay. What the hell is going on? Just stuck. No, nothing. Seriously. Okay, this is ridiculous. Uh, I don't think I'll be testing not thirty two anytime soon. Or ever. No, just kidding. I'm gonna test the next version uh, 11, I think. Yeah. But uh, oh, it will. Ah, I said. What the hell is it doing? Sorry, no. This is just too broken. I'm gonna end this test now. Bye.